Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a random read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back, and to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, uh, random read. You know, we're at a hotel. We're at Motel 6, because they keep the light on for us. No, well, you know, they, they, they allow the fur babies, right? We're traveling back from one state to the other, and, and I can't do that kind of driving, so. We came here, so I'm gonna utilize the Wi-Fi. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> I'm ready. All right, what else is there to do here, right? Except for sleep, take baths. All right. <clears throat> A little dust there, all right. So uh, I didn't have my cards with me, so I went and I picked up a deck. This is the uh, the Guild of Artesians by Theory Eleven. I like this this uh, company. They make a nice card. They flow nicely. They make a nice deck. Look, it's very nice. You know, this is how it looks. The box. It's a nice. Uh, you know. So I'll just put that to the side. I, I'm kind of putting it so I know where the camera. You know what I mean? If I see it, you know, right at that corner, I can't go beyond that, you know. All right. So these cards have been pre-shuffled, and so uh, so we're going to do some cardamancy, right? Let's find out what's going on here for whoever showed up for this reading. For this new, fabulous deck of artesian cards, right? What kind of energy do we have for whoever showed up to this reading? What kind of energy do we have for whoever showed up to this reading? Ooh. Make sure I'm holding on the upright. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, you know, we got two cards that came out, right? We got the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment card. This is about, you know, all your dreams will soon come true type of energy, right? That's what I'm feeling. I don't know. Now, you know, don't get your hopes up here, because we also got the Four of Cups. It's in the reverse. You're not bored with this. I'm, I see that, all right? So you, so you might be, I'm getting you might be a person that likes that feeling of being like, you know, taken by someone or in love or something. I love that feeling too. You know, like, there's no better feeling than when you feel like loving, you know, like love, you know, like you love or you have a crush or... I don't know, <clears throat> but somebody here is feeling like that, and you're not bored, because the Four of Cups is usually a card of boredom, or, you know, passing up opportunities, it doesn't look like you're going to pass up this opportunity, that's the energy you're in, you know, and if it makes you feel this way, if it makes you feel good, then go for it, as long as it's not toxic, right, just remember the toxicities out there, right, but it, it looks like so far so good, that's, this is your energy, that's cool. I'm digging it, right? <laughs> and uh, this is something that you're not going to miss an opportunity on this. Okay, I'm going to put this one back. <clears throat> What's at the bottom of the deck? Look at that. We have the Knight of Cups. There might be some messages coming in about some sort of love message or something like that. A message of, uh, you know, emotion, some sort of emotional message, right? Now, the energy is good right now, so the message might be good, right? What else do we have here for the person? Uh, what are they dealing with? The person who came to this reading. What are they dealing with today? Okay, so you're dealing with some burdens, though, right now. Okay, so something's going on. Let's find out a little more. What's uh, the potential of this this uh, wish fulfillment and this burden, though? 
right? Because we don't know what the really the burden is. Only you, actually, you know what the burden is. You know what it is. I don't know what it is. Uh, what is the outcome in regards to these two cards? Okay, the outcome is that there will be a message of emotions coming out here. And let me see this one. Okay. So, because I, ha you know, these cards need to be marked, right? When you buy them, you must mark them in the upright, right? While they're all in the upright. And I didn't check for the mark, and the mark is here. So this means that this is the Ten of Wands in reverse. So right now, you are feeling loved up, possibly, for a situation that you don't want to miss that opportunity, right? But currently, you're letting go of burdens, things that were burdening you. Okay, so now it comes together. So you have, maybe these, this could be, if you're feeling this way, you could be getting rid of things that were burdensome in your life that you don't want interference in whatever this is, right? Now this could be work too. This could be a dream job and you're letting go of, of certain people because you don't want to let this job go. You're letting go of certain people, places, or things because you don't want them to interfere in whatever you got going on, right? Maybe some people are just not fit to be around you with this certain energy that you're going into, which might be a higher level of commitment of some sort, right? Higher level in the company, whatever, right? So now I see what's going on here, okay? So you're letting go of some burdens because there's an opportunity that you feel is wish fulfillment that you don't want to miss. You don't want to miss that opportunity. Now... <clears throat> I guess after you, you know, let these burdens go, whatever you feel are your burdens, I don't know, you're going to be sending out a message. A message is going to come out from this. Some sort of message to somebody from the past because this king is looking to the left. Well, to me, it's that's the left. I don't know how the camera's coming out. It's weird sometimes. Um, but with this king of cups, this guy... He's looking towards the past, towards the left. To me, it's left is past, forward is right, right? And, you know, and it's almost like uh, this king, he's going he's gonna to take a chance here. We've got that suicide king, too, even on top of that. He's going to be uh, taking a chance, like, you know, like, what has he got to lose, really, right? Which is, that's a good approach to take for something that you really want, right? As long as it's not hurting no one, right? As long as you're not hurting anyone or trying to be mean or whatever, and you're expressing emotions, it looks like the emotions are, are spread or being, you know, being good. You might also be a little emotional about some burdens that you have to let go, or people might make you feel emotional. Somebody might cry to you or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that came in, but some something that you might want to let go might cry to you. Like, please, no, or I don't know. Let's keep going. Um, what is an obstacle when it comes to this situation? What is an obstacle? So the obstacle here is the Joker taking a leap of faith, right? This is uh, like the uh, the fool, right? There he is right in there in the middle. You see him? He's juggling, right? In, in the picture, you know, Dolly Joker, it says. Made in the United States of America. Yep. Theory 11 cards. They're nice, they're nice. Anyways, the burden here or the advice, sorry, the advice or the obstacle. That's what this can be, either or. Advice is take that leap of faith. The obstacle is you taking that leap of faith because maybe you haven't rid yourself of all these burdens that you have in your life, right? They might not even be outward burdens. They might even they might be inner burdens too, right? Like inner conflict. Things that people they don't really understand or see that's that are within you. That you know there's something brewing in there that you don't like. 
but you want to fix it, right? I don't know. Um, that's for somebody. I'm not sure what, you know. I do feel, because look, we have the Knight of um, Swords at the bottom of the deck. And this is telling me that somebody wants to speak some truth. It's either they want to speak some truth or they want to speak some lie. Because, you know, it didn't fly out the deck. We don't know if it's upright or reverse. But I, I kind of have a feeling that somebody wants to speak their truth, though. Because these cards are not, they're not very, they're pretty positive cards. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever this burden is. And whoever somebody, whoever that cry person, I don't know. I still keep thinking about somebody crying. You know? Um. <laughs> What can be an, another outcome after this leap of faith? What can be an outcome after this person takes a leap of faith? Seven of Pentacles. So somebody here is going to take a leap of faith to some sort of options, right? Or somebody's got a lot of choices here. The Seven of Pentacles in this deck is also the Star card. So somebody may want to take a leap of faith and heal something with someone. What This someone could have been um, somebody that they regarded as an option as in the past. This person could also be have uh, Aquarius in their chart. We have Aquarius, Aries, uh, Virgo. We have uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have uh, Sagittarius and yeah. Those are the signs that are showing up here so far. But I think that's the gist of it right here. Whatever these signs are. Yeah. So let's dig a little bit deeper in this at the bottom of the deck. There it is. There's the messenger. Somebody's going to receiving a be receiving a message in regards to some sort of emotions. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm on the, the hotel like half table, so it's kind of. I got my camera set up right there, so I don't want to touch or mess with. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. <clears throat> Tell us about this burden that this person is uh, trying to let go of. These burdens. Oh, that one flipped crazy. So it's in the reverse. The Six of Wands. Uh, you're trying to let go of something that you just did not have any victory in. The Six of Wands in the reverse is, is like, you know, the Six of Wands in the upright, of course, is a victory card. Right? In the reverse, there was no victory here. So you're feeling like you, you're feeling in the mood or in the loving mood of wish fulfillment, right? There's an opportunity that's coming up for you that you don't want to let go of. In the past, you had some sort of something going on, right? It turned out to be burdensome, because, and you did not have any victory with that. That could have been a relationship that you thought might have been, that you thought it was going to go somewhere, and it just didn't. It just didn't, you know, mesh right with you. You know, that could have also been the job. You may have thought that this was the dream job, and it wasn't. There was no success there. Maybe you weren't moving up in the company, whatever. Tell us why it's so emotional over this past situation that was burdensome. Why so emotional? 
Oh, okay. Well, you found out some truth about something. Found out some truth about something in, in this situation. Could be a relationship, whatever. Maybe you found out somebody was making more money than you and your job was harder. Or, I don't know. There was some unfairness here, obviously. It was unfair, but and it was burdensome. And at first, no one was doing anything about it, but now I think someone is, whatever this is. Somebody may have spoken their truth, or somebody has found out some truth in the burdensome situation, right? Not in the one that feels loved up or healing or whatever. Not that one. Specifically for whatever the burdensome in for, uh, situation was that they had no success in, Someone found some truth out about that. Someone could have also found out some truth about um, a single individual. Somebody who is single and abundant can take care of themselves, totally independent. Uh, this also card also doubles as the hermit. So this person could have Virgo in their chart. Also, this could be a single woman or a single man. Um, yeah somebody like that is showing up in the picture now okay for what reason i don't know but this person's showing up this could be the person that somebody wants to heal something with a single individual well let's hope that whoever wants to heal something with someone is also single themselves right because because if they're not it's a no-go i'll tell you that So, taking this leap of faith, right? This is in the reverse. So, crazy. So, the advice or the solution to this, the, the advice or the, um, what was the, what's the other word? Or the blockage is taking a leap of faith, right? For this king of cups, whoever this person is, somebody with some sort of water in their chart, somewhere, probably have it. Okay. If you don't know your birth chart, then you don't know. But if you follow along with this, the emotions of this as the person feeling like they're in love, someone who is in the king energy, someone who doesn't really show the loving side of them, but they're really loving, right? Um, this person, there, see, we have the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is a card of loss right total but it's in the reverse okay you can't see the mark on the card i can only right but it's in the reverse which means that this person in this loving energy which could be this you watching whoever this nine of cups feeling in love person is you had failure, you didn't succeed or have victory with something. You found out some truth anyways about it, right? You're the king of cups. That's, I don't know, that's what I'm feeling. Whoever you, whoever you are watching this, you are this king of cups. Which is, it's good to be a king, at least. You have matured, you know, to that level. Anyways. I also see here with this Five of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a win card now. In the upright, it's a loss. In the reverse, it's a win. Once again, only I can tell it's in the reverse. But this is a win card. All right? So you will win if, if you take that leap of faith, though. That's what, you know, it's showing here. I'm just reading what the cards are saying, okay? You do your own thing. You follow your own intuition. But if it sounds kind of a little bit like what's going on with you, I mean, this is what these are saying. And there is, and I feel like instead of the options, I feel like this is a, a the start card, which is healing. You know, this is about healing. So you want to heal somebody, pop something, with somebody or something at work, something somewhere, at school, at home with family. You want to heal something, which it, it makes you feel emotional, but you feel love, though. The bottom of the deck right here, look at that. We have the Three of Wands. This is about waiting for your ship to come, ships to come in. So you may be waiting for something to happen, 
So you can go ahead and start this healing procedure or this healing energy, right? Waiting for uh, your ships to come in, waiting for the right time. Um, maybe there's some sort of time constraint. Maybe you just can't do it right now. Something's going on like that. There's something like holding up the healing process. So I felt this healing in this leap of faith. So this is also in the reverse. Am I holding the cards in the reverse? No. So this is also in the reverse. And, you know, Five of Cups is crying over the loss of a relationship. All right. And that goes right here. Okay, so basically you, whoever is, you know, letting go of these burdens, it's, it hurts you, right? Yeah, okay. And you're trying, you know, you took a leap of faith and you're trying to heal. Now this could be past that we're talking about. Um, but you realize some shit. You, you found some shit out, you saw something, you figured something out, and you realize that it really was not... It really wasn't a, a loss, you know. Yes, you know, at one time you may have felt out in the cold and you were crying over the loss of the situation, but you did something, which is, you know, that taking a leap of faith, whoever, you know, you are, you did something to possibly separate from this. You went through some healing process, or you will, and you will turn that feeling of loss into maybe a gain. And that could be also by you seeing something. Like maybe you see what the future brought for whoever made you feel this way. Right? Maybe they're, they're not doing so well, but you happen to be doing well. You know, so, like karma kind of action. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they did you wrong. You found out truth, whatever, whatever. And maybe in, in, the, in the past, you were so fucked up over it. But as time moved on and you took a leap of faith on your own, you went and healed. Now you're seeing it as a success, a win. And, and sure, you know, maybe in the past you were sad, but you're not anymore. You're not sad anymore because maybe you see something. You see something that like if you would have stayed with that person this this that and the other would have happened oh and it's probably bad stuff you know what i'm saying it's something like that <laughs> yeah so you know even though you had to let something go make that thing i think it was toxic whatever that was and if you would have stayed with it i think you would have had some big problems you know and sure, maybe you were devastated and sad. I, I feel this situation also. Like, I, I, this, some of it, not all of it, but some of it resonate. You know what I mean? About being upset over the loss of something, but then later realizing, like, dang, I'm glad I, you know, it's kind of like dodging a bullet. Right? Playing dodgeball with the bullets, you know? It's at the bottom of the deck. The, okay, so this is about creating some sort of stability swift movement to create stability eight of wands or some sort of uh message coming in with a quickness that's what that is okay what is this is there any oh no what, what, what can we find out about this truth in this non-victory okay and it had to do with love the six of cups so this is a relationship. You let go of a burdensome relationship. You saw something. You saw some truth. Okay? You didn't have victory in that relationship. You let you let that go. That's the burden that you let go. Because there was no victory. You saw something. Right? Now, if this is in the far past, too, you didn't have victory with something, but you still feel love for it. It could be that past situation you still have love for. I mean, you could have love for all, all of your past love situations, you know. I mean, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, some kind of love. I guess we all do for all of our pasts, unless they really did us wrong, right? But then even then, we still might have a little smidge or tidbit of love still for whoever, right? So, we can't really say that 100%. But, 
Even though you saw that truth and you're over it, what's, uh, you know, what is going on here? Okay, so you could have been dealing with a queen of wands, all right? Or you could be thinking about a queen of wands now, all right? Somebody with fire in their chart. This is uh, Aries and Leo now added to the list, all right? Female or, you know, feminine energy. Because it could be a male energy too. It could be a man. We have male and female energies in us, right? So pick your person, pick yourself. Who are you in this? That single lady still has not popped out yet. So we could be talking about somebody's past, moving up into the present and, you know, what's possible for the, for the future. Eight of Wands, didn't we just see that? Yeah. Let's see if it's in the upright. It is. So somebody might take a leap of faith and go ahead and, and, you know, mention something to somebody about creating some sort of stability. You know, quick movement to create stability, right? Quick movement uh, for some passionate information. Passing of pas passionate information, quick movement, quick, swift movement. So, some shit like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I can't say it right. That's what this is. Eight, eight of Wands, though. Six of, six of Cups, Six of Hearts. This is the card of the lovers. This is a lover's card. Somebody could have had a love uh, from the past or uh, recent past or is looking at a love who has Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart who they want to take a leap of faith and create some, make some movement to create some stability. I don't know why I can't freaking say the phrase. <laughs> some shit like that. Maybe there's somebody that's a little nervous here about that. Maybe there's somebody here that's not, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're not ready for it. They're not, I don't know. Take your side. Tell us about this love with this uh, Queen of Wands. Those are two upright cards, so they're not some negative people. Queen of Wands is very passionate. Goes after what she wants. Okay, here. Okay, I knew. We have a King of Cups. Either you're married or you're separating from a Queen of Cups. We have a Queen of Cups right here. This means that you are in a relationship with Queen of Cups, King of Cups. That's a, that's a married couple. Or if you're going through divorce or something like that, right? But she's not all good, though. She's not. She's Queen of Cups in reverse, which means she a hoe or she's overly emotional or, uh, you know, or she's not emotional enough, not very nurturing, not very loving, not very intuitive, not very, just not very nothing. She's in the reverse. He's not. He's all good. She's not. She's not doing good. So somebody I'd love for this one, she's in the reverse. Somebody sees, somebody's seen some truth about her. She did something. That's what broke someone. She did something to break someone, possibly this King of Cups. But this King of Cups is crowning this Queen of Wands. I don't know. seen the Queen of Cups do something and you know what's crazy is whoever this Queen of Wands is right here that this King of Cups is crowning because maybe he's that's the one he's checking out now because he saw the Queen of Cups do something she saw it too whoever this is I don't so these all these people they know each other so this is people in your life they all know each other she's seen the Queen of Cups do something too She's looking at her, or she knows about it, or could know about it. Hmm. These are interesting cards, how they're coming out. <laughs> it was a good uh, choice, I think. Interesting. This is like a, a soap opera, kind of. So this Queen of Wands and this Swift Movement to Create Stability. There it is! Swift Movement to Create Stability. It came out nice and smooth that time. Maybe because we were talking about that Queen of Cups. I don't know, but what about this uh, quick movement to create stability with this Queen of Wands, right? Ooh. 
Ooh, another eight. So eight could be significant here. We got double eights, eight, eight. When it's doubled like that, it's master number. The eight of swords, okay? Also, is this card, it's in the reverse. Uh oh, because this is also, yeah, so this is also um, the card of feeling trapped. It could be a card of like going to jail. This Queen of Wands somehow is released from this situation. A situation that's, it doesn't look nice. There, there's somebody that likes to feel wish fulfillment energy. That's, there's no Ten of Cups here, unless the final card is a Ten of Cups. I don't know. But as far as I see here, it's burdened. It's not Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is happy family, happy home, happy life. Ten of Wands is burden. So this could also be a family situation where uh, this could be, this is a couple for sure. This could be a relative also. This is person is involved. This person is present, right? This is not a separation of people. This is people who are together. Like you see them during the day or I'll see you next week. I'll see you tomorrow. You see this person on the regular. This is a person in your life. But I see that somebody is being set free from a situation involving this because the Eight of Swords in the reverse represents no, not being trapped anymore, right? Being set free. So you're not being trapped. You're not trapped in your mind. You're not thinking too much over it. And with this Five of Pentacles in reverse and this Five of Cups in reverse, which are usually cards of crying and sad, and you're not doing that anymore, so I think you're over something. Somebody here is over some shit, all right? They're over it. They're over the situation, right? Now, whether they're still with it or not, I don't know, but they are they're have that feeling of, I'm over this shit, you know? But if they're still with that person, why? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what that part, but somebody's definitely over over the bullshit and the burdens. Okay, what's the final card? Oh my, yeah, this is probably a family situation. Somebody dealing all, or dealing with three women, King of Cops. That could be you, Mr. Playa Playa. You know, dealing with a Queen of Wands, a Queen of Cups, a, a Queen of Cups who's like hellish though because she's in the reverse. She likes to give it up or, or either that or maybe she gives it to everybody but there ain't none left for, for you when she gets home, you know? Like the Sublime song. Spreading loving all around. When she get home, there's no love for me, right? That could be her right there. And somebody hanging on. Ooh, I just noticed here too. The Queen of Pentacles, she's in the reverse. Holy, so somebody dealing with two, these two women they're like not this queen of pentacles reverse she's not balanced at all she has no money she's not stable can't get a job can't do nothing both of these women are in bad situation the only good one is this queen of wands whoever this is so this could be a relative in your family now now or this could be some women that you're dealing with who aren't the greatest of women okay but there is one woman, Queen of Wands, right here, but she's all good. She's in the upright. So she's not mad. She's not evil. She's not anything. If anything, she's a manifester, right? She tells the truth, you know, and if there's a burden, she will tell you to your face that there's a burden here. I don't like what's going on, right? But these two, I don't know who they are, but they hang out. They're, they're homegirls, whoever these are. They're home. They're friends. You know, this might be somebody fake friend. They might treat her like, what's up, girl? But they're not really friends. They're it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? All trying to fake it up right there. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. I don't even know what this is. If there's any solutions or if this was just like a freaking, a first time cracking open this deck and now we have a TV novella or what. That's, I don't see any... I see some couple chicks that are not nice, not in good moods, not stable, not balanced, penniless, just uh. I see one chick that's really passionate. She's a master manifester. She is actually front and center of this whole fucking reading right here. 
She might be an outlier. All focus might be on this Queen of Wands. She might not even know that all this is going on around her. This is another thing I'm getting, that there's sadness and lies and what she may not even know that that shit's going on. She might be even just minding her own business. She's looking at love though. She's coming from stability. She is no longer feeling lost. She may have felt lost over... She may have uh, had something to do with this person in the past and she's over it. That could be it too. Only problem is we got these two chicks trying to block her from something, but they're trying to block her from something from the past. She might be glancing back at it, but this kind of person in the upright, she's basically moving forward though. You know, especially if she's in the upright. Or there might be people trying to sway her to move her into another direction to not follow her path of whatever she's supposed to be going on, right? Whatever her life path or whatever that shit is, right? Okay, bottom of the deck. Oh shit, we have the Ace of Wands and this represents the Strength card, right? The card of Leo. So somebody here could be a Leo. And how funny is because I was gonna end the reading by putting this right here, and who is under that? The Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with a female Leo, okay? Whoever you are. You could be somebody with a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio on your chart. You don't see uh, any other king signs. You could be feeling a lot of love right now though, okay? So yeah. I don't know. I might do another reading, you know, with the same cards. It'll be the same energies, I think, because we're in this spot. But let's take a, like, an intermission, you know, since I'm utilizing the room and the Wi-Fi. Why not? And uh, I don't really watch TV, so. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.